Um, it must be my birthday because Red Velvet dropped. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, my favorite cake. About What's up, Revelers? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. I'm Wendy's Opa. If she wants, if she wants to. Cons- consent. We do consent here. But I, g- I gave you a little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in, my, in, my, in my mind, I'm Wendy's Opa. I'm Curtis. Keep dreaming. Your little vibes, y'all seen the picture, y'all seen the thumbnail, y'all know why y'all song. Here. Red Velvet, <laughs> birthday. Just came back. Only reactors who gonna give it to you just like this right now. This is some God tier stuff. If you love Red Velvet, y'all better be subscribed. And, and also, y'all better be on the Patreon. Especially for next month. There's some shit gonna be on there for, for them next right month, now, too. No, they've they been crushing it. I'm a, I'm a Red Velvet love now after watching uh, Be Natural. I, I <laughs> That jumped... Number one, my favorite girl group choreo ever. Number one. But no without further ado, let's get into this. Oh my god. It's Wendy. And that ain't the gingerbread man. Dominus <laughs> music. Boy, ain't let them in. Every day, 
Iron Man lost. Eat me. Hey, yo. <laughs> this is an interesting video. <laughs> he huffed and he puffed. He saw the an eviction <laughs> notice. He saw the eviction notice. Lord <laughs> Farquaad. <laughs> <laughs> he huffed and he puffed. <laughs> I don't know how you didn't let Red Velvet in the uh, in the party at the beginning. Yeah, I was well, Bull got, Bull got get fired. Because I, I thought it was going a totally different version, you know, or a totally different way after, you know, when they was uh, first coming in and everything like that. I mean, he got one out. He a hater, man. Cyclops don't be love. They don't be showing no love. They don't be showing no love. He obviously doesn't have the vision capable enough to understand who's standing in front of him. So you know how that goes. Um, please edit that. <laughs> that's, that's funny. I like that. Uh, I, don't know, I just start thinking things. I'm like, wait a minute. But um, no, man. Uh, this was cool. I think this. They said the red side was the more upbeat kind of like girl crush songs like this and everything. Um, so I guess I'm more of a velvet side guy, um, you know, where they do the R&B, the more traditional R&B and stuff like that. This is a cool type of, the song is not for me. It's not really in the the, the lane that I'm into or whatever like that. And that's just kind of like standard across the board for all um, girl groups and everything. Um, there was a lot, a lot of symbolism in this video. Um, I'm not going to go the dark route. I'm just gonna say there's a lot of symbolism in this video. Like the uh, first, it was like Addis, Alice in Wonderland stuff in here. Then I think um, well, we saw hands. Edward Scissorhands. I know that was Edward Scissorhands for sure. Abominable Snowman, Abominable Ginger the, Man, the Yeti, gingerbread the, man. the Gingerbread mm -hmm. Man. That the bear looks like one of those demon bears or whatever. Um, they were standing on top of the, what's the pentagram. Yeah, pentagram. I had to count it to make sure it was five. Mm -hmm. So, but they were standing on top of the pentagram and everything like that. Like they were doing the seance and stuff. Um, upside down kind of world and everything. I want to say that that white monster looking thing. I want to say that was remember when we reacted to the Mama performance and they did Idol BTS mm -hmm. did Idol and JK was doing something. I think that's one of those traditional like Korean drums that they was um, okay. doing. They had that in the uh, in the performance. I think that's what that one is. You mean not the abominable smokes? No, no, the no, white no, one with yeah. the red face. That no, yeah, oh no, like yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. I was gonna say ones on fours and ones. No, no, on no, not the yeti. <laughs> no, I know and then the, I just thought that the was animal just the animal heads on people. That's you know more symbolism. Like I said, I won't get into what it kind of what the symbolism I'm I'm thinking it is, but uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting to kind of grasp the overall concept of the video because you get like a bunch of gingerbread and cakes and all this sweet shit and everything like that. A bunch of confections along with some of this more, you know, darker stuff that's going on and everything like that. But, um, yeah, like I said, this is uh, cool to see the girls having fun, though, because like I said, I haven't been with, I haven't been here for too many Red Velvet reactions. Um, most of my exposure to them came with Wendy, just watching Wendy Young Street, the show on uh, her radio show or whatever like that, with um, when she would have Sua on there and everything. So that's kind of how I got exposed to her. And I hear a lot about Irene earlier this year. There was some stuff going on, I think, earlier this year or last year. Um, and then Sugi, she's very much so one of the best dancers, out, one of the uh, girl dancers out there in K-pop and stuff like that. Joy and Yeri, I don't hear too much about them. Uh, they're both beautiful, though, so that always works. Yeah, I think uh, from a technical standpoint, um, especially if this ain't your first rodeo with us with uh, Red Velvet, we already know what it is um, as far as the vocals, rap line, the aesthetic, how beautiful they are. Um, you know, I can, I can big up them all day. Um, I don't have an issue with Girl Crush songs. If anything, I'm probably the most person up here in You're the panel to miss, download. You're definitely Mr. Girl Crush, yeah. Because um, I, I, I like just the pop element, and sometimes it clicks. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Like um, yeah, and, like, it just, this was not clicking for me. Uh -huh. um, like, it was, it's a cool video to watch because, like you said, there's so much stuff kind of going on in here that you kind of can just start Picking breaking and breaking yeah, yeah. uh like in a good way like just start oh, okay i think i get what was going on here i get what was going on here i don't want to reach too much because i'm almost on the same type of time as you where some things are just like hmm okay um even with pentagrams and stuff yeah. it's wiccans and other things so it doesn't have to be completely dark with certain elements yeah. that were in here but just kind of funny choices to kind of have compiled together if this dropped on like halloween or something might make a little bit more then sense. it's a little bit different and i'm like oh okay like they're just doing this this I'm just I'm not like assuming anything, but I was just you know. Because even if I wanted to, even if I wanted to reach, I could say maybe uh, like 
all these elements are just different like parties for them as far as like the birthday theme goes Mm -hmm. or just maybe different things someone else might like or with this fantasy party whatever tickles your fancy we have anything here for you Mm -hmm. um and and maybe that was the approach we can we could go deeper but i don't really even want to um but like i said from a technical standpoint i think they did everything well um we've talked about this with k-pop in general you're never really going to hear us say like a song is like trash or ass or anything because we know the floor with all of them are good to excellent and with sm it's it's mostly just excellent um but yeah it's just um I do like some of the production and there's certain parts of uh, like the tracks that uh, like this track in particular that I love, but it all just didn't kind of gel together for me. And uh, ironically, I'm not sure if this is going to be like a 127 thing where maybe, you know, after a couple more listens, it'll be there. Um, the beat isn't kind of set up for me to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, and not to like compare, but with like 127, most of the times you're there, like you're kind of there for the beat and uh, it might skew or do something where you like, hmm. I wouldn't have done that choice, but okay. And then later on, it works for you. Um, With this, maybe I wouldn't mind if the video was on just because of, like, how beautiful the group is and just how, like, um, different the video is. But, uh, yeah, it didn't really click for me. Um, Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of mostly on the same type of time as, as you guys are. Like, I do enjoy, you know, the songs that we've heard from the group, though. Some of the songs that have clicked for me personally have been a little bit of the, the darker theme ones, perhaps. Um, like, I know... Um, some of the Irene and Solgi uh, team ups and everything like that, and then um, you know, p- particularly uh, Psycho and everything like that, and kind of how that fits into like uh, some of the tracks that we have heard from them, like on that kind of uh, register. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've enjoyed those, and, and definitely you know some of the choreo things that, that we had checked out uh, as well. Um, this particularly is just like it's on a more kind of cutesy type vibe, um, you know, as far as like the the production of it. But it's it's not something I typically like find myself like uh, going back and listening to again for most songs like that. And um, generally speaking, like I do like um, like I'm more of a ballad person personally when it comes to some of those things. But I do like some of the the more upbeat and just fun songs in general. Mm. But usually within that, like I need something more. I don't want to say in the in the writing or in the lyrics or anything like that. But it's just uh, knowing that it was a party vibe and everything. I wasn't expecting anything really more than that. So it definitely like achieved like those aspects of it as far as that. Um, what kind of is, is more so tugging at me is I'm feeling more of a disconnect between the video and the song. Like mm-hmm. if I just hear the song, I'm kind of, I feel like I'd be more into it almost. Um, but I feel like with everything that they're kind of putting into the video, it's kind of making me think like in a totally different ge- uh, direction than what the actual words are in the lyrics, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, but I know that's by intent. So it's it's like drawing my curiosity, but it's kind of um, on opposite ends of the spectrum for me. Um, like that being said, within the track though, they had really good displays of vocals in here, um, particularly towards the latter half. So I like the elements of what each person was kind of doing on the track mm-hmm. specifically. And even um, at least the perception that I had at the end of this, as far as like takeaways was really, it just felt like, uh, you know, your special day, whether it's like your born day or anything like that, or whether it's just a, like a general celebration, it's something that you're supposed to be kind of celebrated. And the fact that they're the ones bringing presents to start off the video and then they're still rejected, mm-hmm. it kind of felt like more of a the world is going to kind of try to paint us out and like we're going to have our own party and kind of do things our way uh, mm-hmm. and kind of celebrate ourselves. But they also say in the lyrics, which I did like, which was, um, it's a birthday for me and for you, or it's a celebration for me and for you. And I like the inclusion aspect of that. Um, as far as like, you know, this is a day that's supposed to be special for us, special to us, but then it's ultimately something that like I'm sharing. Like I'm not just the one kind of receiving gifts. Um, but all that being said, so I liked those aspects and the creativity within the video was really cool. And I did like some of the more pop culture references, I would say, uh, as you had said, you know, the abominable snowman, the gingerbread and things of that nature. I like the animated aspects of it when they got into the fight with the gingerbread. So I thought it was like playful and cutesy in, in that regard as well. Um, but I didn't really feel that it kind of gelled with, with the song, like the overarching uh, kind of concept within mm-hmm. it. But I will say that um, that's more so I'm leaving the door open for that to just be my lack of understanding of things. As you had said, uh, the cultural uh, thing with the, the red face, I don't exactly yeah. know the name of it. But when there's inclusions of things that are like that, that are much more culturally relevant, I try to kind of dissuade from like any 
real judgment of it because right. I don't exactly know what's trying to be communicated in that regard. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, it's like the, the aesthetic of everything, the coloring um, on the video, the, the colors popped and everything. The production of it, I do like. And I do think it was well, like, shot and everything. Like, I like Dutch Angle is like the Cyclops is like, falling and, and things to that regard as well. So, like, everything was done, you know, sound on, on all those aspects. I just think the two kind of were at odds with each other a little bit. And maybe if that was their intent, then certainly so. But um, I like the vocals overall in the song. And I like kind of seemingly what I'm seeing of the overall message of just kind of welcoming everyone to the party and just kind of feeling like, like this is a place we can all seemingly celebrate. Um, but in that regard, I don't necessarily um, vibe with the, like, I don't feel like I'm the general demographic for the track, mm -hmm. um, or it's rather not music that I typically find myself, like, checking for. But um, I've loved everything that I've heard from the group, and um, I'm excited to see what else they come up with. Same. Jump in the comments. Tell us how y'all felt about this. Um, give us any information that we were lacking, like, from this video. And, uh, like I said, this is just um, another notch in the belt. We knew they had, like, cutesy music and stuff. Sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. Still definitely jumping into more content from them because I love this group. Uh, but we're going to holler at y'all. Love y'all. Peace. Take care.